Hello, and welcome back to the, I think it's the fourth episode of um, Python Tutorials. This time, I'm going to try and teach you how to make a text-based game. If you don't know what that is, uh, it's something, uh, it's one of the sort of first types of games that was really popular in about the 70s. Uh, was it 70s? Maybe 80s? Maybe 90s? I don't really know. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Zork. This is Zork. Uh, I managed to get it on my Windows 8 PC uh, using DOSBox. If you look into that, it's quite cool. Uh, so basically, how it works is it's all done in text. Uh, so we start off. Uh, it says west of house. You are standing in an open field west of a white house with a boarded front door. There's a small mailbox here. So if you do open mailbox, just type that in and press enter. I don't know the word. What? Oh, I'm just going to type in open. Oh. 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 I've already... Yeah. I've I've already played it, so it's like... It's pretty much saved. So if we go, um... Type in go north. North of the house. You're facing the north side of the white house. There's no door here, and all the trees are boarded up. To the north of the narrow part of the... Go north. Uh... Some other stuff, and yeah, you pretty much just type uh, something in. So climb. I think it's the bit where you climb the tree. I'm just guessing. Climb tree. So you climb the tree, and yeah. So that's how a text-based game works. So if we open up uh, a new Python uh, window and get your shell up as well on the left, uh, save it. I'm going to save it as text uh no capitals text based game dot p y um so if we start off um this we're gonna define a function if you didn't watch the last episode and you don't know anything about p functions you might want to watch that that might be quite useful um this function is gonna be the intro so this is gonna just say all the intro stuff um like that, so def, intro, open bracket, close bracket, and a colon. So, to make it a lot easier for ourselves, instead of having it so you type words in, we're just going to give the player four options, and you get to choose one that you type in a number, and the number decides what you do. So, uh, let's just print, you're in a room. Feel free to... Uh, make it however you want uh, so you might want to be in a volcano don't really know what your thing is next we I'm gonna print you can colon and now we're going to do our options so one um, do the Macarena Remember with your prints, it's got to be in these speech marks. Um, now you can just you can just copy and paste that if you want to make it easy for yourself. I'm gonna probably do four options. You can have as really as many options as you want. You'll you'll see what you have to do to change it in a minute. Um, Although, actually, in the room description, I'm going to say there's a door. There is a door to the north. Uh, so, now, one can be do the Macarena. Two can be open the door. Uh, three can be commit suicide. And four can be rage quit. Um, so now we want to check uh, what they've typed in with a little input thing. And pretty much the only variable you should have to use, apart from some other stuff, should be I call it choice. Um, and choice is equal to the input, so whatever they type in. And 
I like to do these three little crocodiles and then a space. So if I um if I show you this now quickly, so you want to type intro here, uh, open bracket, close bracket. So you see, uh, if you see down here, it's got that nice little thing that just shows you uh, you can type. But if we type anything in, nothing's going to happen. Um, now, in here where it has the close bracket, open bracket, blah blah blah. blah I think you need to type in choice. Um, I know sometimes you do some. No, you don't. Um, so it doesn't like this choice. Uh, but when you're calling the. F okay, no, you don't. No, I think it's. I think that's later on. Okay. Um, so now we need to check and say, you know, if they open the door, do this, uh, stuff like that. So we're going to do an if statement, and if choice, the little input thing we've done here, so if whatever they type in here is the same as one, it's got to be in, it's got to be in speech marks, because we're not doing uh, integers, we're doing strings, so it's just easier for ourselves. Uh, so if uh, it's one, Um, I'm going to print you shake your belly like a bowl full of jelly because uh, yeah <laughs> um, and now you could probably get away with just uh, doing about four of them uh, so you're gonna want the the other ones to be elif stow um, so and make sure the numbers change each time uh, so for this one what are we doing we're opening the door okay you open the door uh, what's happening? Three is commit suicide. Let's do the old fashioned game over. Rage quit it. Uh, let's just, I don't know, let's just do game over. Because um, we're, I just want to get into the interesting bit. Um, what the hell? Yeah, you just need to put a bracket here. There, I forgot, didn't see that. Uh, and now, finally, for this bit, we need an else in case they spelt it wrong. Uh, oh God! Need a print. Print. You spelt something wrong. Uh, and then we can just let them try again by just do it, calling up the function again uh, like that so now if we try this uh, so you're in a room, there's a door to the north you can open the door you open the door uh, that's okay not a very fun game if I'm honest but now we want to start making some more of these functions uh, because if you don't use functions and call them up then you're gonna have to you'll 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 have on this pit well under this uh, it'll say so you open the door you'll put you know you open the door uh, there is da -da 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 -da, and it will just string out like that and for every single one of these and for every single one of those it would be like a massive family tree if you just write the same thing over and over again it would just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger uh, which is why you use functions uh, so you can just so if they decide to go back in the room instead of having to write all this out again you can just type in intro uh, so now we are going to do um, define a new function I'm going to call this room 1 you can call it 
Uh, room two. Uh, you can call it what you want. Uh, and I'm going to copy and paste all of that. Put that in there. Uh, so you're in. I'm going to put another room. Uh, um, there is a door to the left, to the west. Let's use Zork stuff. Um, so I'll probably just leave the rest of it, but if they. So if they open the door, we can put function room 2 um, and yeah I think I may have done something wrong nope so yeah so it sort of just spirals out like that uh, you can open the door again you open the door and you just so obviously th this probably doesn't make a lot of sense because I made it the same but if you know you're in a maze you're in a maze there is a monster to the north. You do stuff like that. Um, so now, if we maybe if we make another one, uh, or or if you put race through it, four can be go back. So if you do go back on four, you can just do intro like that. So you open the door, you want to go back, you're back in the room. And that's basically how you'd make a text based game. Um Yeah. Uh might look into this again, make it a bit more interesting, actually try and make an actual game, not just uh how you would go about making one. Um Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe if I helped you out, if you want to see more. Um, if you don't know, I'm doing these Python tutorials on a every other day sort of basis at the moment. Uh, so well, at the moment I'm doing HTML and CSS one day and then the next day is Python. Um, so yeah, if you want to know when these are going to be coming out, then that's what's going on. Um, I do want to get into maybe do some more complex stuff and uh, maybe more into games uh, that there's a library called uh, Pygame which could actually let you uh, make an actual game like with using displays and stuff might look into that if that's what you guys want uh, yeah thanks for watching see you later